What's going on, ninjas? What is going on? Rain, rain, rain. And I'm at my favorite little gas station here, but it's been raining the last two days nonstop, guys. Haven't gone live, of course, as I said I probably would, because uh, last night I ended up just having some family gathering, uh, get together, visiting, whatever you want to call it. So right now I am in Tiny and I got the trailer and I'm gonna go pick up that Ferris, it's ready. That picture on Instagram that I posted, that was just a picture sent to me from my dealer saying that it's ready, it looks great. They got the striping kit installed, they got the gas gauge installed, the radio. And so I'm gonna go get it, but I stopped real quickly here just to top off or fill up Tiny. Uh, he's about yeah, right there, he's almost about half. So I figured I'd go ahead and do that, why not? And uh, go get the Ferris. So hope all you are doing good. It's all that's been going on the last two days with me. So when I pick up the Ferris, I'm gonna show you the gas gauge. A lot of you really need to see this. I'll try to also look up the address and where I ordered it for all you Ferris ninjas out there. And if you want the gas gauge as well, if I find it, I'll put it in the description below. Go check it out. They are not paying me to do this, guys. I basically just ordered it for myself and I wanna share it with you guys. So. You guys know how I am about my fuel gauges. I want a fuel gauge. I don't want to have to guess how much gas is in there. I think this is 2018. Commercial mowers should have fuel gauges. That's just my opinion. Okay, so one thing I just noticed as I was driving, well, let's step outside. Is that, the little 36 completely moved from here. And do you know why that is, ninjas? Because the last person that used it or moved it around, I was gonna say it didn't put the parking brake, but the parking brake is on. Yep, the parking brake is on. Maybe it's because it's super slippery out here. So uh, I'm gonna adjust that, put it back to where it was and uh, see if it'll move again. Anyway, I was gonna say the last person that used it didn't put a parking brake and I don't remember if it was me or one of the other ninjas. Well, it would have to have been peace, but it's on. The parking brake is on, so that means uh, might be just because the trailer, the wood is slippery. All right, I'm gonna top this tiny off, go in there and grab me some, uh, something to drink and uh, a snack and I'm gonna go get that Ferris. I'll either pull up at the gas station or I'll, when I get home, I was thinking gas station just because it's got the roof and I'm not gonna be getting wet. It's still sprinkling out here. And uh, show you guys the new fuel gauge and how it looks and what I think of it. And if I can show you the striping kit, I will as well, if I can reach it. I'm sure it's visible. So, all right, I'm getting ready to top off here. And the cost of uh, diesel is 259. All right, Ninjas, just got home, picked up the Ferris and still a little sprinkle, but it's kind of stopped. So it's uh, stopped enough where I can actually talk to you guys out here so i uh took out the uh, rights over there they already got the striping kits i showed you guys in the the other day in the video but the new ferris just got the striping kit let me see if i can i mean it's right there guys i don't know if you can really see or not and basically what it is is a a rubber um harder you know hard rubber and i don't know if i can reach down here guys bear with me right there and so it lays down the grass you know when you go uh one direction when you come back so i'm looking forward to it and super excited to see uh how well it does on this machine i'm also still Paying close attention, ninjas, to the weight because the front is super light compared to the uh, skag walk behinds that I had. 
So if uh, if it becomes a problem, I haven't really used it much. I think I only used it like a couple of times. Pizza, even pizzas only used it a couple of times. We really just use those. This is strictly just for those jobs uh, where it's really on a bad hill where we don't feel comfortable on that or maybe one of those can't fit through it and we'll use a 48, but. And I've already got 2.3 hours on it. So, the fuel gauge, right? Okay, that's what everybody wants to see and I definitely wanna show you guys this. So here it is. This is the new fuel gauge addition to the Ferris Walk Behind. I always forget, it's the uh, WF35. So, if I can find the address, which I'm sure I can um, look at in my email, because that's, you know, they send you that receipt in an email, I'll put at the, in the description below the website to where you can go and order one if you own this mower. So, how accurate is it, people are asking. It's actually very accurate, because when we first got it, we thought it was going to go like right here, right here, you know, somewhere in there. But then we realized, wait a second, if we put it right here, it's too long. It would stick out about right up here, somewhere in, in this area, because it was actually like almost down to the tire. So we were like, hold on a second. Did they send me the wrong thing? This doesn't work. And then we realized, whoa, that's where it goes. So let's open it. And there it is. Go straight in that hole. And of course now it's showing zero. And as I'm putting it in there, there it is. Which is about right because uh, this thing was not full. I mean it was, you know, when I first purchased it I filled it up but we've been using it. So, and then you know, you tighten it. There you go. So I, uh, I love it, guys. I, <laughs> I really do. I am so excited about this that now all my machines have fuel gauges and uh, that's what I wanted. Price-wise, I wanna say about 30, 35 bucks just for the, the fuel gauge. Uh, as far as them installing it for me, I was gonna do it myself and you know have pizza help me and we were going to do it you know but <clears throat> i was dropping it off for that striping kit and i was like hey if i'm dropping it off let them just install it for me they haven't charged me anything for it yet and they said that if there is like a little bit of a labor fee that they'll just uh mail me a bill so it's not a big deal i'm not worried about it so looks great the striping kit is in, fuel gauge is in. Let's do this one more time, one more time, ninjas. Look at that. Freaking love it, man. <laughs> now, here's my only concern. I mean, not really a concern, more of a uh, question. If I can buy this and install it, why can't the manufacturer do this for people? This would be so cool if they had come, you know, when you when you buy a brand new machine, it's already on it. it it's not a lot of money. And <laughs> I just think it's an extra selling point. If you ask me, you know, I've always been about the fuel gauges, guys. I don't want a machine, at least not a machine where it costs this much money. You know what I'm saying? I want a machine that has a fuel gauge if I'm paying this kind of money for it. So anyway, you guys know how I feel about the fuel gauges. So I got it, I love it. Um, striping kit's on, this thing's got like 2.3 hours. And there you go, and like I said, I'm keeping an eye on it. If we have to get like 50 pound weights or something like that, I will do that. We'll, uh, I'll keep an eye on that and see. I'll probably, if, if uh, depending how much they cost, if worst case scenario, I'll put my own weights on there or something. But, and then here are the rights. You guys have seen them. 
see the rain's coming down again see fuel gauge no problem fuel gauge no problem all right guys rain's coming down i'm gonna go ahead and put these in so bear with me i'll probably put all my mowers in the garage except that one just leave it so <laughs> I'll come back and conclude this video. Not much of a video today, guys. It's been raining the whole two days. But I do want to show you, uh, I just picked this up yesterday. Uh, the dealership sent me that picture and I posted it on Instagram. So that was pretty cool. But I just got a chance to go uh, pick it up and uh, now I'm home. By the way, today is the first rain. Today's the first of the month, which is my favorite uh, time. <laughs> <laughs> which is the first of the month. But why, Nick? Why is the first of the month your favorite? Because I've got about 12 to 15 credit cards on file that I charge first of each month for the whole month ahead. So, for example, today I'm charging everybody for the month of March. And, um, and so that's uh, super exciting. But uh, I have uh, a little over 100 credit cards on file, guys. And so... I stepped in here because of the rain. I have over a hundred, but a lot of those are just charges per cut. Every time I pull up, we'll charge. But I got about 12 to 15, give or take, um, that are prepayment for the whole month ahead. So, you know, 1st of March, I charge for the whole month of March. 1st of April, charge whole month of April. And that's a lot, guys. When you think about it, 14, 15 accounts that pay you up front for the whole month. It's, it's phenomenal. And then, um, you know, in places like the HOAs, I just picked up a check from uh, the PO box. They pay up front for the whole month as well. I mean, it's uh, it, definitely a motivator is what I'm trying to say here to get started, get this freaking rain to stop so we can start mowing. But I'll come back. Maybe I'll uh, come up with a topic and we'll talk about a little bit more, something else. If not, then I'll conclude this video. It's just going to be a short video, guys, and I'll go upload this. All right, Ninjas, want to wrap this up, a video up real quick, call it a day. Really, the highlight was just the striping kit on the Ferris and the uh, fuel gauge. Just made a little clip live on Instagram. A lot of you who are watching this have watched it. And I really appreciate you joining and want to conclude this video. The rain has stopped. I looked at the forecast and they're not calling for any more rain uh, the rest of the evening and uh, should be clear tomorrow. So we'll be good to go tomorrow. And that's it. So I went ahead and parked them all out here. got them ready for tomorrow and we're going to be uh, hopefully having a good day. But just want to conclude this video guys i really appreciate you and your time and watching and let's see what we can get into tomorrow and uh that's it that's it guys take care thanks for watching really means a lot and we'll see you tomorrow how about that later ninjas oh and as always whoop, whoop.